can't look anybody in the eyes. He's always made our deal. Where's the cute card, right? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, and Jeff and I, I mean, we get a few here and there. Oh. Jeff used to give me scripts. So I used to be like, live so um, we'll give us a clap and then Mark you just ask your questions it's conversational sure so sure. relax no big deal okay tuck your cords in <coughs> so I don't see <coughs> there you go perfect you want your name used or not or does it matter or? it doesn't matter alright guys come on action action <laughs> interesting um, so Monte Monty. Correct. Got Monty. <laughs> when you decided to list your luxury executive home here in the wonderful Safety Harbor, Florida area, what strategy were you thinking of? Well, up north, uh, I often listed our homes, plus I was in construction, uh, listed myself, spotted listing, you know, made the appointments, did all the negotiation and all that. And uh, you know, down here was such a big market and people coming from all over. We thought, boy, it'd be nice if we had some representation to really help us through that process in, in this state. Okay. So that's kind of what brought you to a professional like me to help list your house. We had met sure. at a open sure. house about a year ago or so. Uh, yeah, down yeah, beach, yeah. I we did, we did. And uh, uh, the fact that uh, you had an option of the, you know, the 1% listing with, you know, shared commission with another realtor. Uh, made a lot of sense. Everybody wants to keep as much money as they can in their pocket, so uh, that was why we thought we'd give you a shot. Definitely. So you, if you were going to do it for sale by owner, you were going to offer that buyer's agent? On well, this I, house, probably 2%. 2%. Yeah. And so then I came in with this house with the value of and offered 1%, mm -hmm. so basically you paid 1% more. Sure. Um, so, again, like you mentioned, the obvious part would be making as much money as you can as the seller sure. off your investment. That's right. why we own homes. Do you feel that my services and what I did helped you? Did Was it a better strategy to hire me than to go on your own? Yeah, we, my wife and I talked about it, and we felt so with your knowledge of the market and uh, your ability to negotiate and, and know what's required in the sale here, uh, we felt like we need some help with that. And, liked your approach and personality and thought you might be a good fit for us. Well, thank you. Do you think that you came out at the end with more money than you would have for selling the person by yourself? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we've got over asking, as you know, and you've negotiated even more. So you you paid for yourself uh, just for your negotiation. So it, it worked out real well for us. Great. Well, I thank you for that very much, and I thank you for doing this video right now. Well, no problem. You no know, problem. Um, and that's great. And um, what were some of the um, low and high points of working with me? I mean, because I'm always trying to learn too, obviously. You know, you're, you're like I am and my wife are. We're straight shooters. Here's what we're trying to do, you know. And you came back with, here's what I'll do. And it just, it just was an easy flow to make that, uh, to make that decision. Oh, great. Well, I thank you again for that. Um, I guess, is there anything you think I could do better? Uh, only if you were younger and more attractive. That would help. <laughs> I know. I know. And that's part of it. It's the, it's, I call them the debutante real estate agents. <laughs> yeah. Steal my yeah. business. Be so cute and pretty. That will not go on film. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'll, put, I'll do anything. <laughs> you got to be careful. <laughs> Start to finish from when you met it the first time when you called me and we came over and we discussed uh, and, and the process going all the way through. Um, how was that for you? Was, was it, it was fine, yeah. Like I said, yeah, probably the advantage we have is because we were in the construction business, you know, with custom homes, we're used to dealing with people and realtors and all that. So we felt real comfortable and uh, we've dealt with a lot of realtors over the years and like I said, the, the fact that 
laid it out straightforward. Uh, it made sense, and you didn't try to blow smoke. I mean, we had an idea of what we thought the house value with was. You came in and you said what, what it was, and so we were pretty close. So you didn't try to inflate that, you know, uh, just to get the listing. Because uh, that happens, as you know. Oh, it does. It does. No, I definitely, I work for my clients and always try to. Um, I would. Yeah, Mark's, uh, like I said, easy to deal with, straight shooter, and uh, I think he'll do a good job for you. Okay. Right, and, and something you had mentioned a minute ago was that you've been in the real estate business. You were a builder, so you've mm -hmm. sold homes, you've dealt with real estate agents, and um, not to do my own home, but it's what I'm hearing. I was beneficial to you, even with your experience. So somebody that does not have as much experience in the real estate sure. market, do you think that I could definitely help them? Yeah, I, I think a lot of people don't feel comfortable through the whole negotiation process. Uh, and, and, and it makes it easier, even for us that, that are used to doing that, it made it easier for us to, to have that buffer also and know that you had our best interest at heart. You know, we all want to sell a house, you want to sell it. Uh, but uh, we really felt like you had our best interest and, and tried to do the best job that that we asked for. Mm -hmm. And uh, communication, I know agents, a lot of agents always hear, I hear that they don't communicate and I just don't understand. It's easy to return a text, pick up a yeah. phone, and it doesn't yeah. but a couple it's, seconds. It's funny you say that because that's a real pet peeve uh, for me. Uh, in my business, you know, I would ask customers stuff to build their house and they would get an answer. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of building your house. I need to know this. And so Correct. just that basic communication, even if it's, a, yeah, I've got your message, thanks. It doesn't have to be much. But a lot of, a lot of people don't realize the importance of that. And it, feels, it makes everybody feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a question. You answer it promptly. Uh, or at least you say, hey, I'm not sure. Let me check into it. And the same with, it goes both ways. So it's, it's still a critical part of the process. Yeah, communication. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. I think that's great, guys. Good. So yeah, that, was, yeah. that was wonderful. I got all the pieces that I was wanting to hit. Good. That's all for you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sure. If you don't mind, sure. I'm going to put Mark in the hot seat yeah. for about five minutes. Oh, sure. Is that all right? I don't mind. All right. So, oh, man.